going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And we got to talk about this viral situation that's going crazy online right now because a man has gifted a woman or had gifted a woman over $20,000, right? And ended up breaking up with her because she didn't want to reciprocate or she didn't want to help him out in his time of need. Now, a lot of people are feeling bad for this man. I don't feel bad for this man for various reasons that we'll get into <laughs> as we discuss the situation. So if y'all know me, I know I don't like to waste a lot of time. So let's just get straight into this, all right? Let's just break this thing down. So here we go. Man woke up with his girl after she refused to help him pay his mortgage despite him investing $20,000 in her. Now, before we read her post, I just want to start right here. In what world would it ever make sense to give a woman that is not your wife $20,000? Let it breathe, run it back. In what world would it ever make sense to give a woman that is not your wife $20,000, that is not your mother $20,000? This woman holds no bears, no importance in your life. Let me tell you guys something. Girlfriend and boyfriend is BS. There is no such thing as a girlfriend and boyfriend. It's a fake title. It means nothing. When you file your taxes, it asks you if you are married, divorced, or widowed. Which means, widow means that your wife died, or your husband died. Married means you're married. Divorced means you're divorced. The only other box you can check is single. There is no such thing as boyfriend and girlfriend. And let me tell you something if we're being honest, all right? We dropped the gyms earlier here. We're getting straight into it. The only reason the title boyfriend and girlfriend was really even used nowadays is because it makes women feel better about the fact that they can't be throbbing and they want to get their cheeks clapped. They want to get their peace sleeve pounded. They want to get their V-box rock, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, what you would call it. I don't give a damn what you call it, but it makes them feel better to say, well, you're my boyfriend, so it's okay. It makes them feel like they have some kind of a commitment, right? It's not marriage. They can't hold out to a marriage, but it makes them feel better and they get judged less socially if they say, that's my boyfriend who I'm letting pound my cakes before marriage versus just saying that this is my friend or this is just someone who I just sleep around with when I get horny. That sounds bad to them. So a lot of these relationships you see, right, were forced by women. A lot of them were. Now don't get me wrong. There are some simps out here. There are some men who are in scarcity who force a relationship with women, right? <laughs> a woman lays him one time and he knows, oh my God, I finally got laid, I gotta hold on to it. So he forces the relationship. But in most cases, it's a woman. She knows this relationship is going nowhere. She might not even like this dude like that, even though after he hits it a few more times, eventually she'll get attached to him. But she really is embarrassed. She doesn't want to admit she's having casual sex, even though that's exactly what she's doing because boyfriend and girlfriend really doesn't mean anything. So she slaps a title onto it to make herself feel better about it. In no way, shape, or form should you ever be giving someone with the title girlfriend $20,000. And if you do that, you are a trick. And as I have said numerous times on this channel, the only one lower than a hoe is a trick. That's it. The only one who gets less respect than a hoe is a trick. You can ask anyone in the sex work industry and they will tell you that. The least respected person is the trick, not the hoe. If you're giving a woman $20,000 throughout the course of a relationship and not a marriage, you are a trick. Let's not act like this was a real relationship. This was not a real relationship. What this was was a sugar baby and a sugar daddy. That's what this was. And I don't feel bad for tricks. Hence why I don't feel bad for dude. All right? I've also told you guys another thing, which is that you never ask women for money. All right? You never ask women for money. So the fact that he's breaking up with her because she just doesn't want to help him with his mortgage, even though he gave her $20,000, is stupid because you have to realize, one, this is not your wife, right? And two, most in most cases, especially with someone who is not your wife, you are not going to be able to rely on women financially the same way that women rely on you. You guys have to understand that. You're just not, all right? You're the provider, not her. Now, if you have a good woman, right? A loving woman, a nurturing woman, a caring woman, right? Who is your wife? You might be able to rely on your wife for support like that. You've been taking care of her for years, you know, and you fall on hard times or whatever the case may be. And you need a little help, you might be able to count on your wife for assistance, but thinking you can count on a girl is crazy. 
All right, but let's get into the story. Let's get into more details of what happened. So it says, my boyfriend of three years lost his job last month, which has been a significant challenge for him. Now, another thing right now, I've said this before, Coach Greg Adams, you got dudes like Better Bachelor, you have a lot of these dudes, mainly MGTOW dudes, who will tell y'all to go out here and trick our women. I've told y'all before and I will tell y'all again. A woman who is a true hub, a woman who is a true gold digger, because you got to try to label any woman who cares at all about your financial success, right, or acumen, a gold digger. That's not a gold digger. Women are biologically wired to seek someone who can provide and protect for them, the same way men are biologically wired to seek women who are physically attractive and youthful. Now, a good man and a good woman will look for a lot of other traits besides those two things, but it still includes those two things. So she's not a gold digger for checking your financial status. She's a gold digger for only dating you for your financial status and relying on you to take care of her when you're not even married to her. So understand that, right? Now, when you go out here and you trick and you leave with your wallet and you do that stuff that they tell you in certain sectors of the ministry, right? What happens is you have to realize, one, that's not your girl, it's your turn, but it's only your turn once you start tricking as long as you can afford it. Soon as you get laid off, soon as you get fired, as soon as anything goes wrong, that girl goes. You lose your job, she goes with your job. If you got laid off from your job, you got laid off from your woman. You have to know that, you have to understand that before you even get yourself in a situation like this. So you wanna be big pimping, you wanna be big trick, you gotta keep the money coming in. And you gotta be man enough to realize that if the money goes away, she's gonna go too. That's just the reality of the situation. You gotta know what type of woman you're dealing with. A lot of y'all don't know when y'all dealing with hoes and that's your biggest problem. And then if you're gonna choose to deal with them, you don't know how. That's another video. I wouldn't be able to fit all that information into this, but I'm gonna make that video because that's a big problem a lot of men have. Anyway, he approached me two weeks ago and asked if I could help him pay his mortgage, but I told him no. Of course she did. Guys, women are not gonna take care of you, all right? Now, again, a good woman will support you. And part of that support is if you do get laid off, right? If you do get fired, if something bad goes down, Part of that support is, I got your back, babe. Your housewife should go out there and get a job. Or if you're already doing a 50-50 power couple, then your wife should be able to hold it down with an expectation that you will eventually get back on your feet. Now, I've told you guys before, right? Your wife should be willing to hold you down. Black women, more than any other woman on the planet, will hold you down when you fall off. But all women, there's a time limit, all right? Most of the time, you got about six months to get back on your feet. A year max, right? <laughs> a year max. If she lets you stay past six months, just know after those six months, the disrespect's going to start coming. The undermining is going to start coming. She's going to start challenging your balls all the time, telling you, you, you a little dick, just disrespecting you because she won't be able to respect you as a man. In my opinion, you should probably just leave after six months because the disrespect isn't going to be worth it. But you're not going to get much more than a year unless you basically make yourself the girl of the relationship. And you just cut your balls off, all right? Push your, push your penis in, make it a clitoris, and say, okay, you can sleep with me now. That's just the reality of the situation. But to expect your girlfriend to do that is crazy. <laughs> this is not reciprocation, by the way, guys. Reciprocation, right, which has to be established at the beginning of the relationship, which clearly this dude didn't do because he gave her over $20,000, and she's giving him nothing. But reciprocation would be like if you always pay for the dates, right? A woman takes you out every now and then, right? Or if you always pay for the dates, she's cooking for you, right? On a consistent basis. Stuff like that is reciprocation. And when a woman likes you, right? A woman loves you and a woman respects you or she has one of the three things, she should have multiple, but at least one of them, she'll naturally do that, right? I've had women randomly say to me, I'm going to take you out because you always take me out, right? I want to cook you a nice meal because you be holding me down. Whatever the case may be, all right? This woman has clearly never expressed or shown that same reciprocation. She's used to receiving. You set her up to get used to receiving because you gave her over $20,000. So you can't be mad when someone who's used to receiving and not giving is hesitant to give, especially when you came in like, oh, baby, I got you. I'm going to pay for everything. Again, you have to keep that same energy. You can't be mad at the girl, but let's continue. 
Last week, he presented me with a spreadsheet detailing everything he had done for me during our relationship. This cements the dude as a trick, a cornball, a sip, a lame. It's a what you would call it, whatever you want to call it. Because what type of a clown would take the time to come up with a presentation to detail to a hoe, because this woman is a hoe, clearly, to detail to her all that you've done for her, as if that's going to change her mind. Do you think when she said no, she forgot everything you did for her? Of course she didn't forget everything you did for her. She doesn't care because you presented yourself as a trick. Listen, a lot of you dudes need to watch more Patrice Washington, right? Not Patrice Washington, I'm sorry. A lot of you guys need to watch more Patrice O'Neill. That's what I meant to say. All right? Now, Patrice O'Neill is like 75% comedy, 25% gems. Whereas, I look at this channel as more like 75% gems, 25% comedy, right? But he has some thoroughbred gems, one of the originators of the Rep Pill Talking Points. And he says something that I like to quote all the time because it's 100% fact, which is when it comes to dating and relationships, men, everything is your fault. Everything is your fault. Why? Because one, you're the leader, right? Two, you teach everyone how to treat you. Now, men being a leader is one thing, right? Women naturally follow biologically. It's going to be women in the comments. That's not true. Yes, it is. I'm not about to debate it. If you're a man, you got your stuff together, you want your P's and Q's, your masculinity's up, women naturally follow your frame, they become a clone of you, okay? Every girl I talk to, it becomes a fan of the Knicks, becomes a fan of the Packers, starts to get into movies. Why? Because that's what I like. And that's what they're wired to do. Oh, that's the type of chick you like? If you pay attention to women, you'll literally hear them say this. When they like a guy, they pay attention. That's the type of bitch you like. They'll start doing their hair like the type of woman that you like. They'll start acting like the type of woman that you like. They'll start liking the things you like, also that they can fit into your world. In the words of the Little Mermaid, and I talked about this before on the channel, they just want to be a part of your world. So they're going to become whatever you are. Okay? So with me saying that, but this is gender neutral, you teach people how to treat you. And that goes for men and women, right? So what you've taught this woman is she can come to you for financial resources in exchange for companionship. What you have not taught this woman is that y'all are in a long-term committed relationship because this is not your wife, right? You have also not taught her reciprocation because you've never required it, especially financially. In her head, as long as she's sleeping with you, that should be enough. So you can't now change up later. It's too late to train her. She's already trained. And her training says, I receive money from you. I don't give money for you, to you. So you can't be mad at her about that, right? So this clown takes the time to put a presentation together to rub in her face to try to guilt her, which is a female tactic. Men don't guilt. A dude like me, if I gave you $20,000 and I ask you, hey, can you help me out with your mortgage? And you say, no, I'm just going to dip. Now, first of all, I never gave you $20,000, clearly. But that's how you hear the lies of me. All right? You've already been played. You've already been emasculated. You already feel stupid. Don't make it worse. You want to come back with a presentation. What is the point? What is the point? This is how I know this is a dude in scarcity. This is a dude who's never dealt with women. He's not in an abundance mindset. He's not even in a position to just move on. A man who's spending $20,000 on one woman should have multiple women. If you got enough to give one woman $20,000, right, you should have multiple women. So as soon as she acts funny, you should just move on. But this is a lame, simp trick. He's not desirable, clearly. So instead of moving on, he wants to try to do it. Make a presentation lame. Guys, never do that. When a woman plays you out, just move on. I tell y'all all the time, and I'm going to tell y'all again. All right? The best gyms come for those who stay to the end. The best way to get women to apologize, fall back, back in your frame, back into their femininity, is to just leave them alone. Walk away. She tells you no, just stop talking to her. She probably would have came crawling back. But because you made this presentation, now you look like a lady. Let's go ahead and wrap this up and continue. So lastly, he presented me with a spreadsheet detailing everything he had done for me during our relationship, totaling over $20,000 in value. He then broke up with me three years down the drain. Now she's saying three years down the drain. You got $20,000. Don't nobody feel bad for you. $20,000 in three years is good work. That's, you managed to get over $5,000 from this man every single year. 
Come on now, you give about seven thousand dollars a year just to do whatever you want with. They talk about some down the drain. That's not down the drain. But anyways, I digress. Despite feeling guilty because he never asked me for anything, I still feel that if he is truly my man, then she should have something to offer as well. She had the nerve to say, right? The nerve to say after this man during the relationship has given her money and given her gifts totaling up to $20,000 that she still feels like if he is truly her man, then he should have something to offer as well. Again, as I stated earlier, he has already trained her to receive and not give. She's already in the mindset, partially because of his male leadership, actually mainly because of his male leadership, that she should just receive from him and she should not have to give them anything. He established that. He's the one who reinforces that in her head. Now he needs something and he wants to change it. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. You have to have standards from the beginning. So as crazy as that sounds, as delusional as her statement is, it's his fault. In the words of Patricia Neal, everything is your fault. She wouldn't think like this if he didn't train her to by being a simp and a trick. Then he should have something to offer as well. I can't believe this man broke up with me because I told him no. He found the way to pay. Of course he found the way to pay, right? He probably had it in his savings, to be honest with you. It probably wasn't a situation where he really even needed the money, all right? Something might have happened. Maybe he got laid off. Maybe he got fired or something like that, you know? So he decided to ask her for help. Maybe he didn't get laid off or fired. Maybe he just wanted to see if she would be willing to help him. I don't know why you would think a woman you have given $20,000 to would be willing to help you in any way. This is clearly a leech. This is clearly a pet, a parasite. I said a pet, <laughs> a parasite, right? You should be able to identify all of this, but for whatever reason, maybe he's shit testing it. Okay? You probably already had it in the savings and just wanted to see if she would give it to him, but he should have known better than to think that she would. Anyways, <laughs> I don't think I was wrong because he's supposed to lead, not me. Plus, I don't live with him. Let it breathe, run it back. So not only did you give $20,000 to a woman who is not your wife, it's your girlfriend, you gave $20,000 to a woman who doesn't even live with you. Again, you want me to feel bad for bro? I don't feel bad for him. Sure, he did what she was supposed to do. She seen a trick. She took advantage of the opportunity, all right? Men do the same thing all the time. Guys, you see a woman who don't know her worth. She's pretty, nice breasts, big fat butt, right? But she's a slut, she's a hoe, she's a freak, whatever you want to call it, right? It's a what you want to call it. What do you do? Do you marry her? Do you wife her? Do you try to save her? No, in the words of J. Cole, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. You take advantage of her. You smash her, right, without giving her the title of girlfriend, without giving her the title of wife, without giving her any money, you take advantage of her because she's easy and she's attractive. And as soon as she starts to say, well, I want you to marry me, well, I want you to be my man, I want you to be committed, what do you do? You hit the smooth back pedal because she's a hoe, right? No one feels bad for the hoe. When men get a hoe, we laugh about hoes. The hoes are stupid. The hoes are dumb. We tell our men, well, she's a hoe. Go talk to her. She's easy. What do y'all think women do when it comes to tricks? Let it breathe. Run it back. What do y'all think women do when it comes to tricks? I'll give you the answer. The same damn thing. They see a trick. They extract as much money from the trick as they can while they can. Right? Until the trick asks them to do something they don't want to do or starts putting real expectations on them or starts trying to turn them into a housewife because you can't turn a whore into a housewife. Right? Starts trying to turn them into a housewife, whatever the case may be. Then they back off, they moon pedal, and they move walk away with as much resources as they were able to extract. The same thing a man does with a hoe. He has free sex with this hoe as long as he can until the whole realizes, wait a minute, I should be getting a committed relationship out of this. I should be getting taken on dates. At bare minimum, I should be getting paid. And once the whole smartens up and realizes she's getting nothing after this, you back her out of there. That's what they're supposed to do. I'm not going to be mad at a woman for using the trick. I'm not. Because <laughs> you shouldn't be a trick. And I want you guys to see what happens when you trick. 
This is what happens when you trip. To wrap the story up, I don't think I was wrong because he's supposed to lead, not me. Plus, I don't live with him. If I was living with him, I would have did it. Do you see my point? Thoughts. Now, of course, everybody started cooking her in the comments, right? But I actually agree with her. I do see her point. You're not my husband. You're my boyfriend. I don't live with you. Why would I give you money for your mortgage? Now, morally, we all know this is wrong. If someone gives you $20,000 in gifts and money, you should be willing to pay their mortgage for them one time. But the reality of the situation is, right? We don't live in a moralistic world. We live in a world where idiots get taken advantage of. So if you're stupid enough, right, to rely on someone who doesn't even live with you, to pay something for you when the entire dynamic of your relationship up until this point has been you pay for everything, you take care of everything, all you've done is signal to this woman in some way, shape, or form that you've fallen off, so now she's trying to get out of there because she sees it as the gravy train being over. Is that messed up? Yes, but do I feel bad? No, because you are a trick. This is how tricks get treated, just like how hoes get treated. They get used and abused until they even realize that they're being used and abused or they can't be used and abused anymore because something else happens, then people leave. That's how it works. Hence why I tell you guys all the time not to become tricks. Now I get drowned out a lot of the time by other people who are telling you guys just use your money. Become a high value man and use your money. But if you become a high value man and use your money, you're gonna end up like this dude. You do not leave with your wallet. This is why you never leave with your wallet. Men used to understand this. Now they don't. And that is the biggest problem with modern men. Stopping that problem alone, the idea of leaving with your wallet versus leaving with your masculinity versus leaving with your personality will save y'all so much trouble and so much heartache. But a lot of y'all are just not willing to do it. A lot of y'all are just not willing to do it. And y'all gonna end up like my man's right here. I'm going to end up just like him. But in a nutshell, that's my thoughts on it. I don't think she's wrong. I don't. I don't think she's wrong. I think she did the right thing. Tricks deserve to get played. Just like hoes deserve to be used. You want to be stupid? Hey, be stupid. Listen, you want to spend money frivolously on women? You had $20,000 to give her? Then it's not even a loss to you. You should be fine, my man. Same thing I feel with hoes. You want to go out here having free sex? Hey. You shouldn't feel bad when someone don't want to commit to you. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Women are going to use tricks for the money. Men are going to use hoes for sex. That's the way the world works. Everyone knows this. So when you sign up for this, I'm assuming that you know this. Especially as a grown adult and not a child. So I don't feel bad for dude. And I'm going to let you know right now, if you are a trick, be willing to accept the fact that whatever you're giving these women, they are not going to give it back to you. Because you are a trick. You are a pay pig. Your job is to give them money. They give you nothing. They don't respect you. They don't care about you. They don't love you. You are a wallet. You have established yourself as a wallet. You do not get to step out of the frame of a wallet. Just like a whore does not get to step out of being a whore. You don't be a whore, come to me as a whore, and then try to be a housewife. Once you come to me as a whore and I identify you as that and I view you as that, that's what you are. He came to where as a trick. That's what she viewed him as. The relationship was just to make him feel better. She just wanted to attract resources. She did what she's supposed to do. Men need to move smarter. That's my thoughts on that, y'all. I am Alex, and I am out. Peace.